folks, back again with the uh, the build series on the Trumpeter Tiger 1 Loop. Um, where were we last time? I was farting around with the Zimmer and I made a couple of boo boos. Um, made holes and stuff, so I'll see how it goes, but. The reason I'm pointing that out is when you make a mistake, I used to panic when I made mistakes and uh, I used to get frustrated with myself and stuff. You can fix mistakes and that's one of the good things about the hobby is uh, being able to rectify mistakes and stuff. That's so I've made a little bit here, but I've got Zimmerit tools and stuff. And I uh, also have Zimmerit tools on the way. Um, two different kinds, actually, from two different companies. Um, <coughs> so when they arrive, I will uh, we'll do a video on them. And I'm hoping that that will be the end of my... Zimmer it was obviously when kits like this they uh, they include the Zimmer it, so that's nice. Anyway, so the last time we were looking at getting rid of seam lines and stuff. Now as you can see, I don't know if the light will allow it actually. I'm gonna try and fart about with us a wee bit. Uh, I've got one of these flexible lights and stuff and Sometimes it works, other times it doesn't, and it's awesome. So, I don't know if you can see, but the line is almost away. So you just keep adding your glue, and then scrape it away with a hobby blade, or uh, in Shep Payne's book, the use of glass wool comes into it as well. Um, I'll demonstrate that in another video, but these bits here, they won't be seen anyway. Um, for the most part, uh, they'll be hidden by the shrouds and stuff. So it doesn't really matter what happens with them. Now, we're on to this here, which is uh, the single piece stuff, which Dragon doesn't include for them and their infinite wisdom. I have no idea why. It makes it a whole lot more simpler. I'm just going to point this out right now. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see actually. Hang on, let's zoom in here. Now, this part here that I've got my finger on, as you can see those five pins, well, Dragon has two, two pieces and then a single one. And it is an absolute nightmare to put on. So, that's a good feature that uh, it's all assembled there and we've got the little piece at the bottom as well. So I'm going to put that in there just now, move that out of the way. Can't remember if I pointed out but new cutting mat and uh, I was able to do something about the bench. I uh, stripped down an old chair that I had. Uh, stripped down, exposed it, with, exposed the leather with the, uh, no, cut the leather and exposed the wood with a Stanley knife and then I retrieved the bits of wood that I would need to make a bracket thing which is up here um, and then I screwed a metallic bar across it so as you can see the bench is nice and tidy. Uh, over here I've got everything arranged the way I want it. So how long that will stay, I don't know. I'm hoping it stays for quite a considerable period of time. But uh, you'll probably see it on my Facebook page if people have got that. Uh, oh, and that's why the flag's there. So I've got that bit. And then we've got this bit, so we clean them up and uh, assemble them in the exhaust. 
And, uh, I don't know if I've done this either, but uh, if I give a shout out to one of my buddies, uh, Greg Riley, who kicked cancer's ass. So that was fantastic news to hear, man. Well, Jeffrey. I hope you and the family are doing well now. And my other buddy Steve, he's uh, recovering well. Still supports Port Vale though. It's strange. Well, saying that, who can, I can't really talk at the moment. Because Rangers have been absolute shit. But, that's a topic for another day. So, put that in there. No. Oh. Stuff today. So I'm just gonna seal that in with some glue. And then as you can see, when that's in, you are uh, lining those up and uh, just Like I say guys, so much easier than the, the dragon way of doing things. Sometimes I think that, I mean the stuff's brilliant, it is, but a lot of the time I think the stuff is, uh, well it can be overly engineered. Um, there's some pieces that are too complex. Well, you can, but suppose that's where the detail comes in, right? Uh, so we're going to do the other one, and then once they're dry, I'll give them a final clean up, and then we'll get them installed in the, the rear plate. Uh, just finished Alfred Rubel's Tiger Project book. Um, from Shifa Military Publications, uh, you'll probably get them on eBay. Uh, they are, gives a pretty good insight into life for the crews and stuff. And uh, his unit was the 5 or 3rd uh, Cut and Espels unit. And uh, he was actually good friends with. With Kurt, who died in the last few days of the war. So, uh, I've got the other one to start reading, which is the part two. I'm trying to track down part three of the Tiger Project, but I haven't been able to find it cheap anywhere. It's been uh, quite expensive, really. I've worked anyway. I do have a contact in America now who uh, there was a couple of books I was looking for and they were well, well expensive for me to get anyway in the UK and uh, he private messaged me and I uh, asked uh, how expensive it was and I told him and he actually used to work with the publisher of uh, the books that I was looking for, so he has uh, sent them to me. So that was really nice. Uh, hadn't heard from him for a while, but there was things going on which I didn't know about. But uh, yeah, he said I've sent them, so just give me the post and patch them when you've got it. So uh, again, that was nice. It's a uh, black Edelweiss was one of the books that I was looking for, and that's uh, another one on the the Norlandic Waffen SS divisions. That he's sending me as well. So got another contact there now for reference and military stuff and what have you. So I'm. Uh, in the process of studying the, the SS at the moment 
and uh, I read a book which I'm going to review later. I finished that last night, so I'm on to the one from the SS Panzer Division, but um, the book I've just read will be a book review, it's in the SS Heimwehr, Heimwehr uh, the, uh, the SS unit in Danzig, so that's pretty good. Right, now, so we're going on here, and uh, once they are done, we're going to clean them up and put them on, so let's have a look. Uh, other places that we need to do, we've got this here, which is the drill bit. So that'll be the drill bit. I've actually got another pin vise on the way. Uh, with another set of drill bits. What I tend to do as well, when you are making the holes for your stuff, I tend to do them bigger than what is required. And then that way you know it's definitely going to fit. And then you can fill it in or you can fill it with cement and stuff, should you wish. Now, that one I can actually trim and just slot it in there. Now, this bit here is for the C hook on the back. So what I'm going to do. I'm not going to make the other little holes because it would mean taking this pin vise out and I can't be bothered. But what I'm going to do is trim the little bit off each end. Off the east, I'm going to trim this part off and then it'll just sit flush. So we need the C hook, which is here. Uh, I'll point out to a group build that's going on. At the moment, uh, it's modern day stuff. Um, it's on the Watts and all Facebook group. Uh, and it's uh, up to Desert Heat. I can't remember the other one, but it's ongoing at the moment, I think. So, you guys want to check that out. That'll be number 11 as well, so. These are tiny, tiny wee pieces. And I put a new blade on my hobby blade, which I can't now find. Oh, here it's here. It's that tidy, I can't find anything. Trim this part here. And that one. So that one's done. I'm going to do the same with the other one. Making sure not to cut off too much. Now, I'm just going to clean that up a little. And then we're going to file this down. Got a 
wooden block for this one as well to make. And that'll be scratch built because on Vitamins 205 he had a wooden gun travel lock on the back left. So that will be a wee project to be done as well. So right. So I'm gonna put the C hook C hook here and then probably need to be I don't know how to glue these in actually before I put them on. Tweezers for this. This part's really pernickety. It's worth it in the end. No. I actually might need to open this up a little bit. This is just a pointer. So I'm going to open them up slightly. Give it more to go on to. Right, that's that one. Uh, I had a minute ago. Okay. So that's that one. And now I need to so that's that and then right. So that's that one. And then the next one. So travel walk on drawing little tiny holes. I normally do that. It does look a little bit beveled, but it'll do for what I want. Now uh, these will be trimmed up a little. Install these as well. Right, they're fine. So, once again, we're going to test fit. And never want to be gluing something and then it doesn't fit. Sometimes it can be a pain to test fit things and you think, oh, okay, it'll fit anyway. And then, <laughs> nope, doesn't fit. So you need to bring it out, try again. So now that they're on, i leave that for a bit and then we'll come back and we'll do the jack and stuff. 
And then the next bit is it actually going on. Rear mud flaps and stuff. So we're going to fire ahead and uh, I'm going to work on the engine deck cover. So and this is us working on the upper hull now. So that's this part here. Really nicely textured, it really is. Where are we now? Right? Okay. I'm just going to stick this out the road. I don't need that right now. Okay. So we need A27. Couldn't just be the same screw. Again, it's the same principle, just clean it up these little tags. I need one of them and one of them. Thank you to uh, Bruce Worrell as well uh, for recommending me those books, buddy. Thanks very much. It's uh, on the list of things to get. We're probably going to make this and then I'll uh, shut it off again and uh, probably work away on these little parts and stuff. And these are all just cut out and glue, so there's not too much to talk about during that. And then I'll come back with the, uh, the PE the hatches and stuff. So we'll put this together in this segment. And then I'll be doing my uh, the review on that book. Not finished. So uh, be on the lookout for that if you wish. Investing one of those gully stopper things, boy attack or some foam. And that reminds me as well, I need to get another thing there, extra thing as well. So that one, it's not anywhere near running out, but it's good to have one. But, J, so looking for H, what's the, looking for that.
I'll be putting that together as well. So you've seen me putting that together. It's quite a detailed barrel. piece barrel muzzles it. I've got it for another one. No, I don't it was it, was it? Was it for this one? Yeah I think it was last cap. Talking nonsense. So once this is on I've got these little things to put on. And then you've got the handles, so that'll be done, and then, like I say guys, I'll turn it off, and I will come back when it's the hatches and PE. Unless anyone wants me to continue doing it, like every part of the build, or... I would probably just come back when it was PE. Okay, so. Is what this I've built. First one was a Tamiya one when I get back into the hobby. Ah, that's not nothing I want to talk about actually. B10. Where are we? That's these little things. I'm gonna bring you in. So this thing here. I'm pointing to. Dragon has these as multi piece. And it was one of the things that annoyed me <laughs> at the time. Because they had you putting them together. So it was like three piece. And you had to glue them together. And for some reason I always struggled with that. So Trump Patel and their infinite wisdom has given you them as a single piece, which is good for me. Makes it better. Ryefields is probably the same because Ryefields are on the same. Uh, I've got glue on that part here, so I'll need to wait till it dries and then sand it off. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's uh, it's a lot better from Trump to Ryefields ones are probably the same because they are. You know, they're up there with dragon in terms of in terms of detail. I think it's dragon that they are in competition with. So I'd go as far as to get a few of these kits just for those. <laughs> so get that one there. Don't know when the next part will be uploaded because my son isn't well just now, so it's probably going to be a doctor trip at some point. So now, here's my wee doodle, and they go in here. So. I never mess around with these, I just put them on. So they are going 
And that way. And that's it there. Sunmate in appearance. He's not well, so he gets to do what he wants. Well, that's what he thinks anyway. Okay, and that's the easiest time I've ever had with those. Like I said, because they're single piece, so much better. No. We're on to the handles. Now, you can make these yourself, and if you have um, a handy dandy tool like this one, I'll bring you in, guys, and you can see it. Uh, as you can see, these teeth they are for different sizes of grab handles. So, you heat the wire up, you put it in there, you pull it tight. I'm going to make sure I can have a handle, but right now um, I'm just going to go, because I need to get some more wire, so, excuse me, I'm just going to go with the cap often, um, which is B12, which is here, so here we are. That one, and then we'll take that one. No, I'm gonna clean these up and then get them installed. Now, you, when you're holding this between your fingers, you don't want to squeeze too hard because you'll break the part. So you want to go as easy as possible. You can even hold it with one end. And if you're doing this above a carpet, then I would put something down on the floor or grip it really, really tightly. Because these are one of those things that have a tendency to and then you never find them again. So that's one. And this one. Okay. So I'm gonna use Tweezers. Some glue on. Oh, those seem to be B12. No, oh, it's the wrong button, that's why. Okay, and that was me not looking at my instructions. No. And then the other one. be cleaned up once it's completely dry and uh, the other bit by the way I need to see where they go that'll be later anyway so I've uh, rabbited on for about half an hour so uh, like I say guys I'll, I'll just come back when it's at the PE stage and uh, or unless people want me to continue doing it each step then I'll do that that's not a problem but 
Um, you can let me know in the comments section anyway. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.